Hey friends, this is Jibesh and I welcome you back to my channel Bioprofessional. Here we are discussing a series of videos where we are basically you know concerned about the questions that have been asked in the SLAT 2021 paper 1. So this is going to be the third video of the series. Before that we have discussed 20 questions and with their probable explanations and answers. Okay. Now in this video also I am going to describe 10 important questions and these are the you know randomly chosen questions from the paper okay so let's now go ahead the first question is you have to match least one and least two <coughs> so what do you mean by descriptive research descriptive research it includes this means surveys and fact finding and queries of different kinds okay so this is means you have to you know find the facts or the findings of different you know forms so this is descriptive research i'm not going to describe uh, the, the, each and every term in a with great detail because it will consume a lot of time so what do you mean by applied research applied research is also known as action research it is also known as action research it is also known as action research and this action research it the answer will be this aims at finding a solution for an immediate problem facing a society or an industrial or business organization okay now what do you mean by fundamental research fundamental research is mainly concerned with the generalizations and with the formation of a theory okay this is fundamental research and uh, this is also called as basic or pure research writing this is basic or pure research means after this research you can give a theory okay and uh, of course for giving a theory you need to do you know research before that okay and before you know having a research we can hypothesize so there is a difference between hypothesis and a theory i think uh, there was a question related to that what do you mean by hypothesis and a theory so theory is after doing a research and hypothesis before doing a research you can hypothesize and for the for the proving of the, the, your hypothesis you do research okay now what do you mean by quantitative quantitative means of course this is the measurement of something okay so the four option will be the this so it is based on the measurement of quantity or amount so the answer will be this option 3 1 3 okay 1 3 2 4 3 5 and 4 1 okay so option c is the correct the arithmetic mean of four integers integers means which is not a fraction or a whole number okay was computed as 15 means uh, mean of four integers means i'm writing here mean of four integers mean of four integers is 15 and we can represent it by like uh, x bar okay and n is equal to 4 total number how many there are 4 okay now this x bar can be written as summation of x okay divided by total number it will give you the mean okay now this x bar this uh, summation x is will be equal to x bar into n clear now we can write it like this a value of x bar is 15 because the mean is 15 into how many number there are four integers into 4 will be 60 summation of x will be the 60 right now in the question it is written as the number 10 was wrongly taken to be 30 the number 10 was wrongly taken to be 30 now now wrongly taken value writing wrongly wrongly taken value is 30 for 10 means originally it was 10 but it is wrongly taken as 30 now now 30 minus 10 is 20 isn't it means 20 was mistakenly it was added it was added 20 was added 
मोर मिसटेकनली मिसटेकनली राइट दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन मीन्स इट इट नीड्स टू बी टेन बट आउट मीन्स बट दे हैव चूजन और दे हैव टेकन थर्टी आउट ऑफ टेन मीन्स दे हैव एडेड ट्वेंटी मोर देन द एक्चुअल वैल्यू ओके नाउ एज वी नो दैट समेशन एक्स समेशन एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी समेशन एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी बिकॉज समेशन एक्स इज फॉर आवर केस इट इज सिक्सटी सो द वैल्यू विल बी सम सिक्सटी माइनस ट्वेंटी इज फोर्टी एक्चुअल वैल्यू इज फोर्टी राइट सो लेटस नाउ कैलकुलेट एंड लेट्स दिस फोर्टी इज अ न्यू वैल्यू लेट्स दिस इज समेशन वाई This is summation y is a new value. Okay, now therefore y bar, <coughs> y bar is equal to let's say this is x x x bar for x x bar. We have written summation x by n, so it will be like summation summation y by n, right? Summation y is forty, and value total is four, right? And n is four here. Because we know here it is written there are how many integers four integers right so four by uh forty by four is a ten is the answer so option D is the correct so it took a lot of time to explain but uh, this is a way you can do this problem so <clears throat> eighty four thousand is a publishing concern which aims to translate all of the answer will be the Buddha's words. Buddhist words into modern languages and to make them available to everyone. This is the main motto of this, you know, publishing concern. So the answer will be this. So, Swayam is designed to achieve the three cardinal principles of education policy. So Swayam, actually, this is a program initiated by government of India. The objective of this effort is to take the best teaching learning resources to all. Okay. Now let us see the question. I mean the option. the liberty liberty is the freedom means you are not bound for anything okay so they are not giving you the freedom so this option cannot be true liberty where liberty is written this option cannot be true now access okay so i am uh, th this is a online platform so everyone can access so access is a you know correct then equity is also correct and quality because they are giving you the quality education to everyone and everyone will be able to access because uh, they have online facilities so anyone from any any port any you know uh, location of our country can access all these things so the option c is the correct access equity and quality the personal tutor of the chinese buddhist monk shonjong so this is you know pronounced as shonjong was actually the option c is the correct this is the shila bhadra is the correct option so i am not going to describe all these things uh, the option is c is the correct okay next okay let us consider the following figure so this is a bit you know tricky question where uh, you need to uh, do a lots of practice before that or else you cannot uh, think even in that direction okay so in the first place it is written 4 so if you multiply 4 into 1 it give it gives you 4 isn't it if you multiply 4 into 2 it gives you 8 right if you multiply 8 into 2 sorry means you are giving 1 to 8 into 3 you are increasing the number 8 into 3 it will give you 24 24 into 4 will give you sorry 24 into 4 will give you uh, 96 then Uh, 96 into 5 will give you 480, and 480 into 6 will give you a uh, 2880, and 2880 into uh, 7 will give you 20160. So the uh, op answer will be the 2880. So this is the correct answer. Option D is the correct. Fine. Next, firewall in computer is used for. so firewall actually this is a, a network security system it's a network security system so uh, the option is c is the correct option okay next which of the following is not covered under intellectual property right so uh, 
uh, what do you mean by intellectual property right Bef uh, to solve this problem you have to have clear cut idea on this thing intellectual property right okay now intellectual property right refers to creation of the mind such as inventions artistic work any symbol names basically used for commercial purposes okay so means uh, everyone all of uh, any person if invent something or create something new he or she has the right to use you know uh, commercially and somebody else cannot use that particular thing so all these things comes under law and uh, uh, and for that you need to have proper you know knowledge and then only you can solve this question so first is copyright what do you mean by copyright copyright is a legal term used to describe the rights of the creator have over their artistic works so they basically for artistic works they had you know they have copyrights so uh, other people cannot use that particular thing so patent patent is uh, mostly related to the invention of something if someone invents something so he or she gets a patent and uh, they can use for commercial purposes somebody else cannot copy that particular thing okay and trademark is a is specifically a symbol okay is a sign capable of distinguishing the goods or services of one enterprise from the other so all these things are basically for you know commercial purposes commercial purposes okay <laughs> and finally is the thesaurus thesaurus is a book that lists word in groups of synonyms or antonyms or other related concepts so uh, probably uh, this you know this option doesn't come under intellectual property right because this is the grouping of words you know uh, and and there this books these orders basically it compiles all the synonyms and antonyms and related concepts so uh, the option d is a uh, correct <coughs> next there are five players a b c d and e let me write there are how many players five a b c d and e in a group led by jet nunisa okay to an event held at london one of them plays football so one of them plays what football one of them plays football okay one plays tennis i'm writing one plays tennis and one plays chess and one plays chess clear a and d are mates and do not play games so a and d do not play games so i'm writing a and d are not there in game so who are playing the game b c and e clear so football tennis chess will be played by these three people only okay next no women plays either chess or football okay chess or football means football and chess these two football and chess you know will not be played by any women so there is no women okay there is a married couple where e mr nunisa okay e is a mr nunisa so e uh, is a husband so e is if it is e is you know husband so e is male e is male okay next is a husband e is the husband okay c is brother b c is brother b so b is also male b is also male clear uh brother b who is neither a chess player nor tennis player so b b do not play tennis or chess so so b will not play tennis or chess so b is not there so now as chess is not played by you know women so chess only option left is e e is a male and will play chess football b as b you know is a male and can play football so b will play football b will play football because uh, why believe b will play football because football and chess will not be played by any women so as only option left is c so c is the wife of e c is the wife of e and will play the tennis okay most probably she will play the tennis so now question is that who plays chess we have to find who plays chess is e so chess will be played by e the population of guwahati was 3000 on 31st december of a particular year so uh, let me write the initial initial population was 
initial population was initial population was 3000 okay next in the next calendar year population increases by 4% so in the next calendar year it is increased by 4% so what is the 4% of 3000 4% of 3000 will be right 3000 so 00, zero cancelled 00, zero cancelled 13 to 4 is 120 so first year uh, first year the population is uh, 3000 plus 3000 plus 120 and it will be 3120 okay next and in the subsequent calendar year it is decreased by 3% so this is decreased by so uh, this is positive means increased by and this is decreased by 3% so what is 3% of uh, 3120 3% of 3120 will be 3120 so 00, zero cancel 10 divided by 312 will be 31.2 so 31.2 into 3 will be 93.6 so 93.6 you can take like 94 okay so it is decreased so if you uh, take the subtraction from this 94 will be you know 6 is 1 3 and 9 it's 2 it's 0 and 3 so 3026 so 3026 will be the correct answer so if you like my way of explanation please do subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that they also can check the you know options so thank you for watching this video